Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be going over the top books to learn how to code. And these books have been around, some of them for quite a while, some of them are relatively new. Some of them helped me when I was first learning how to code, especially with technical interviews and going through different kind of algorithms. It really teaches you how to think in a programmer way, in a logical way, I should say. Before we get into them though, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. Shout out to some of these subscribers here. Thank you for being wonderful. And okay, I think that's it. Let's get started. There are so many books out there for people who are learning how to code. It can kind of be overwhelming as to which ones are the best ones, which ones have stood the test of time, are still relevant today, even more so than online courses. Books are one of those things that because coding and programming is changing so rapidly and the best, um, best practices or even code itself is changing, uh, it's one of those things for books that I really, when I was first learning how to code, I was kind of hesitant about books because I was really concerned, are they still up to date? Here I'm going to share with you though some of the books that yes, still are up to date and really will help you or helped me anyways when I was going through technical interviews and really more than anything, just teaching you to think like a programmer. The first one on the list, no surprise here, if you haven't heard of it, you must go and get this book, is Clean Code. Clean Code is by Robert C. Martin and it has been around for a while, but it is a staple for anyone looking to do a technical interview. This book, Clean Code, offers insights into code cleaning and software development. It goes through the best practices, how to refactor your code in the best way possible, and ensure that what you are building is done not only right, but in the best way possible. After you are done reading this book, you definitely will have a ton of different takeaways of how to better structure and clean your code. And also too, you will be able to implement the agile methodology into your coding practices. I can't recommend this book enough. If you haven't read it, go get it now. That's all I can say. Go get it. This is your sign. Next on the list is Introduction to Algorithms. This book has a few authors, so I have them down here to read to you. Thomas Corman, Charles Leeserson, Leeserson, I'm sorry if I'm saying that incorrectly, and Ronald Rivest. Just Google introductions to algorithms and you'll find it, I'm sure. One of the main reasons I really love this book is they go through different algorithms, but not only that, they go through them and explain what each line is doing, what the code is doing, so in depth that you are sure once you have are reading about one algorithm and going through it, you will actually understand exactly what is going on with that algorithm. It's not going to have any of these mysteri mysterious parts to it that you are uncertain as to what your code is doing. This book really takes the time to go in and dive into what exactly you are writing for an algorithm and why. This book uses pseudocode to ensure that it is accessible to all developers of all levels. Even if you are just starting out, this book is one that you can pick up and really learn from very quickly. Also, this book has recently been revised, so if you are looking for it, make sure to get the most up-to-date copy. Next up on the list, similar to number one, is A Clean Coder. And this is by the same author, Robert C. Martin. And this book covers best practices, techniques, and different skills for you to utilize when you are learning how to code. And it's one of those things that, it's an amazing book if you are looking to not only just learn how to code, but also to better your code. Meaning if you are someone who already is a coder, you can use this book to really hone in on the best practices. This book is one of, this book is one that I read, I think a little too early on in my career, uh, when I was first learning how to code, I'd first do the number one book I suggested, uh, Clean Code, and then do this book, um, because there are parts of it which are pretty challenging to grasp or understand if you are just learning how to code. So I would do book number one first before his second book. Next on the list is The Pragmatic Programmer by Andrew Hunt and David Thomas. This book has been around since 1999 and is still one of the top books for anyone looking to take their coding skills and really make it into a career, become a full-time software developer. When I was reading a bunch of reviews on this book too, one of the common things you keep on reading is no matter how many times you read this book, you keep on learning something new. 
This book is truly one that you will invest in and if you keep on going over and reading it, you're gonna keep on finding new things that come up. Especially as your coding career keeps on growing, there will be different things at different times in your career that you really need to focus on and this book, when you're reading it again, you'll pick up parts that maybe earlier on in your career you didn't pick up as much. I also really like this book because it doesn't just cover programming itself, although that is a very important part of it, of course, but it also touches on career growth and really how to sustain a long career. And I think that's really important because a lot of these books really just focus on the programming part, which of course they do, that's what they're there for. But I think it's so important to highlight the career side and the personal and professional growth as well, because as technical people, we often push the soft skills to the side just to focus on the technical skills, when in reality, our soft skills are equally, if not more, really important. And next on the list is a book that really breaks down complex design patterns or frameworks in a very simple and easy to understand way, which is headfirst design patterns. This book is a must have for anyone who really wants to break down different design pattern concepts and have an understanding of different kind of frameworks and patterns going on. This book is by a few authors, let me read them here. Eric Freeman, Burt Bates, Kathy Sierra, and Elizabeth Robson. And this is a really fun book because it's more visually appealing. When you open it up, there's illustrations and graphics. So it's not just kind of pure text that you're gonna to have to be consuming. It's really broken down concepts and programming concepts in a fun and easy to understand way. Okay, those are my top books if you are looking to get into reading or have some actual physical books when you are learning how to code. These books are incredible and honestly huge investments in the sense of you buy them once and they will they already have stood the test of time and will continue to. So I think throughout your career you will continue to reference them and use them. So you really can't go wrong with any of these books. I'm curious to know though, what are some of your favorite books around coding and programming? Let me know down in the comments, or even if it's not around coding and programming, I'm curious to know. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos, and I will see you all soon. Thanks everyone.